you get a lot of guys, and this is basic judo 101, you get a lot of guys who just kind of lumber at you, they're, they're like this, they're, they may be grapplers in some other sport, and they're coming at you, and when they do, when they, when they start walking towards you, one, one step's all you need, you know, if that, and grab and hit. Now, the Tayatoshi we're going to do is a, with a longer sleeve grip, pop out here, and on a lapel, okay? Now, you can grab back full of lapels, totally up to you, you know, but we're going to do a standard Tayatoshi, and it's really kind of simple to do, and everybody knows Tayatoshi here, but we're going to practice it so if somebody does approach you straight on, and they do so often these days, you get the Judo or Sambo tournament, this guy's had a background in some other sport where they don't do a lot of throws, he walks into it often, you know, and not... He doesn't mean to, but he does. So can I have you pick somebody who's going to be sure. walking into it? Lon's going to be walking into it. Okay. All right. Poor so man. Lon's job here, just as the referee says, how you marry just as they start, he's you're just going to kind of kind of work at him. And as he do, as you do that, Derek's going to pop you and grab you. Now, guys, it's really important. A lot of times when he has his hands out, I'm a righty. So he, he's going to be doing left. It doesn't matter. It's just you're just approaching. What, the, your first grip will probably be here because that's the first thing he presents to you, okay? So that's what you're gonna go with, and that's your, that's your anchor, that's your setup. And grab low, don't get all worried about how I'm gonna grab here, just grab and go. So I'm gonna snatch, very low grip, and that's gonna pop out wide, that's gonna open him up, then that allows me to set here with my, my hikite, or my surite, this hand here, and take it. So that's what Derek's gonna do, you're a lefty though, so, right? so switch around, and let me get out of your way here. catch. That's what we're going to work on. And all that, all that yapping I was doing was for that. Okay? But the key thing here is, is he's thinking about what he catches first. And again, when he's leading out there and he's, he's approaching Derek, when he's coming, there, boom, see that? Trap. That's the catch. Okay? Now the Japanese call that the hikite. Okay? The pulling hand. Okay, hiki is the pull. Right? And the other hand is a surite, the lifting or hanging hand. All right. Now, and that because it's he's going to grab, and as it, as it pops that open, that allows him to catch. He spins in. He just walks into it. And it looks like he fell on purpose, and he did because he made him fall on purpose. Okay. So, but the, the catch here. So have your hands. That's why as soon as you bow in a, like a, a judo match or samba, without samba you wouldn't bow. You have your hands up. You don't stand there, you know, you don't walk with your hands dropped like, you know, like this. You bow, ready to shake hands, hands up, you're ready to go. And as he approaches you, you pop and go. Okay, so pop, very simple. You know, like, that's easy. Yeah, I know, but have the wherewithal to do it. That's what I'm saying, okay? Nice light pop. And when you throw with that hand, pop up. This is good position here. Classic Japanese judo, really, okay? And if you were doing it in Sambo Kirkus, it would be classic Russian Sambo. So it's classic good technique. Now this opens it up. Often even taller guys, like Mac, you know, you and Nick, your big tall guy, of course you like a lapel grip anyway. But you can grab this, let's let you grab this lapel quite easily here. And with this pop catch here, you can just hang him with that. One more time as you just, just kind of lumber toward him and it just pops him in. Okay. Catch, pop, wham. There you go. All right? Let's work it a bit and we'll let you throw on some other stuff and run door.